Hey guys, this is JNT, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. We are here on this uh, little island trying to figure out a way to get through the northern fog as we uh, chase the ghost ship. So let's see what we can find. So far we've already read this uh, Wayfarer's Words number one. Let's see if there's anything of use around here. Uh, empty house. And we're gonna steal a barrel. Um, boing oing! Want some valuable information? Okay. There is a tiny island in the middle of the three boulders south of this isle. It's said that there's a beautiful spring there. This is one of several isles that are not charted on any map. Keep a vigilant eye out while sailing. You never know what you'll find. Now make a note of what I just said. I will indeed. Sea chart. So there should be an island right here, apparently. We will uh, investigate that later. What's this guy have to say? Have you entered the foggy passage to the north? Yes. No matter what you do, it seems like there's no way through the fog, right? Every time you brave that accursed fog, you'll be sent back to your original spot. But Romanos, who lives on the village edge, had a father who got through it. No one dares try to figure it out. Not since the ghost ship was seen in the fog. Hmm. Special delivery! Watch out! Incoming! This is a letter from Astrid! Ahem! Ooh, I can't wait. Good tidings to you, Link. Thank you for your recent help. Try as I might to express my gratitude in words, I cannot do it justice. If there is anything that I can do in return, please stop by the Isle of Ember. I know that someone of my modest means might have little op to offer, but I believe that I can at least show you the way should you become lost. Sincerely, Astrid. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Bye bye, Mr. Little Angel Postman thing. Oh, just look at this stone tablet. The guy who lives nearby, Romanos, had a father who scattered these here. They're left as testament to his trip to the Isle of Gust, but they're a big nuisance. What does this one say? Wayfarer's words number two. I made my way through the fog to the North Sea where I first spied the island. What a place, ravaged by winds. How could I name it anything but Isle of Gust? Okay. What do we have in this house? Another empty place with a barrel to steal? Um, yep. And also a chest to open. A Ruto crown. The Zoras have passed it down across generations. And now we're going to steal another barrel. And suddenly we're getting more lag. Uh, is this an item shop tent? Yes, it is. Welcome to Molita's store. Uh-huh. Arrows, bombs, potions, and a red thing. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm. Who's this? What? You want to sail to the island up in the northwestern sea? My husband called that place the Isle of Gust. He used to talk about how he had visited that island. My husband was once content to be a fisherman until he left this place. He sought uncharted lands. At least that's what he said when he finally left. He refused to work, instead ruining his boat by braving the northern fog repeatedly. The last time we saw him was over a year ago. My son Romanos, who's at home right now, might know a little more. 
But that boy hasn't worked in a long time either. He's peeved at his dad, I think. He might get upset if you mention the Isle of Dust. Hmm. Uh, nothing else out here to see. There is that cave. Um, and this house. Need something, kid? What? You want to travel to the Isle of Gust? Please don't tell me you're going your own way, too. Own way? Ah, if you don't know, forget I asked. You're better off staying put and forgetting about that Isle of Gust. Uh, okay, well then... Yes. Oh, really? Do it your own way? Go your own way? What a bunch of garbage. All this endless babbling about living with a lust for adventure. Can that put food on the table? Can that make your family happy? Going your own way is no way to survive in this life. My way's a lot better. Staying home, eating cheese. That's the life. Okay. Yeah, Isle of Gus. Don't say another word about it. Figure it out yourself and get out of here. Okay. Wait, kid, come back. Sorry to unload all that on you, kid. It's just that my dad used to say lots about going his own way to explore, and I got fed up with him. My dad used to talk about getting through the fog and seeing the Isle of Gust. He said something about a specific route for getting through that foggy passage, but only he knew which way to go. There's a cave behind our house where my dad used to escape all the time. He called out it his hideaway. You might find more details in there, but it's dangerous in there, so take care of yourself, kid. Uh, okay. Thanks, dude. Young man! You mustn't go into that cave. Dangerous monsters have been seen there lately. Now be a good boy. Don't go anywhere near it. Oh? What? Well, if my son has said it's alright, then go on in. There's no stopping you, is there? But please, don't do anything too dangerous. Lots of choo choos. Do they have. No, we don't have bombs now. Is it a bat? Uh oh. We got some uh, freaky monster here. These guys, what you want to do is stun them with your boomerang. Okay, just a second, let me change the settings. Okay, hopefully this will go a little slower. Ow. A little slower than I wanted it to be, but... Change the settings back. And we got the door open. And we are back at normal speed. I think. Or do we suddenly have lag? Ah, no, okay, we're good. And we have more choo choos. Oh, no, not you two. Octorox. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah, I think they were all Octorox. Not sure. Might have been some choo in there. Looks like Octorox. Bad. 
cats. Oh, whoops. I think I accidentally just attacked the bomb tower. Anyway, guys, we're pretty much out of time, so we'll explore this cave a little bit more next time. Once again, I am JNT, and we are playing through The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Have a great day. Bye.